The popular restaurant chain Hooters accused of racial discrimination by a former employee here in, Mar in Baltimore. And it all centers around her hair. WJC's live at the Inner Harbor, Derek Valcourt has more on her complaint. Derek? Well, specifically, her complaint says that white waitresses here at Hooters are allowed to have highlights in their hair, but black waitresses are not. 25-year-old Farron Johnson's blonde highlights now at the center of this complaint filed with the Maryland Commission on Civil Rights. My other co-workers, they all had different color in their hair, like red and uh, blonde highlights. I didn't think it would be an issue. But Johnson was fired from her job as a waitress at Baltimore's Harbor Place Hooters in August after managers told her her hair color violated employee image standards. They specifically said that black women don't have blonde in their hair, so you need to take it out. Jessica Weber is Barron's attorney. What's wrong is that both federal and state law clearly say that employers can't impose two separate and distinct uh, rules governing employee um, standards, one for African American employees and one for everyone else. And that's exactly what Hooters did here. Why don't we just not define hairstyles for anyone? Baltimore delegate Mary Washington agrees employers need to be able to define personal appearance and grooming standards, but she's already drafting legislation that would prevent employers from requiring or prohibiting specific hairstyles. She says Farron Johnson is just one of many examples. Also, there are some women and men who are told to dye their hair. Um, that if they are gray, somehow they don't, they're not projecting a youthful image. Um, so I think really further clarifying hair and restricting employers from doing that will help all kinds of people. Hooters declined to comment for our story, citing the pending litigation. The case is now in the hands of the Maryland Commission for Civil Rights, whose investigation could take months. Live at the Inner Harbor, Derek Valcourt, WJZ Eyewitness. Going to the bank and being able to take out $100,000 and leaving quite a bit of money in there as well, just because you can, just because you want to. There's nothing fake about this stuff, guys. This is as real as it gets. I want to be able to help you guys do this exact same thing, invest in silver, foreign currency, be able to take out cash, $20,000 cash to, make, to go out and have a, a nice vacation. Don't take this as bragging. Just take this as proof for the people who uh, are naysayers and don't believe that it's real. Maybe people are looking at the industry, but they don't understand it. They don't know how it works. They're skeptical. They think it's too good to be true. And I'm here to tell you this is by far the easiest, best most money I've ever made in my entire life. I make more in a, in a week than most people make in an entire year. So now what I want you to do is just get plugged in. Get started right now.